Alright guys, so this, this tutorial we're going to learn how to get user input from the keyboard and use this user input in your program. So, what we're going to do in this program is basically we're going to write a program that asks the user for their, to enter their, enter their age then it's going to read in their age and then it's just going to print back out to the screen their age. Very basic but it's a good way of you know getting to know it. You gotta learn the basics first, of course. So, um, first thing you gotta do is just uh, declare the variable age, which you will use. So, int age, um, and now we have a, a place to store the input. And it's gonna be stored in here, and it's gonna be and call it age if you want. I'm gonna call it age because it's relevant. So now we want to make a way to let the user know that we want them to enter their age so basically just print to the screen enter your age simple as that so system dot out dot print line and then in quotes because you want to just print the text straight to the screen enter your age a little space then just for to just make it look better and then now this is where we use the the keyboard class to read in the user input and then to store the user input in this variable here. It's basically the same as just assigning a variable except instead of just saying age equals 32 and you know just plopping 32 into age we actually get the value from the keyboard from the user. So it's the same in the sense that we just have age and we're assigning age so the assignment operator and then we use the keyboard class so we call the keyboard class this is how we do it so capital K keyboard sorry I'm spelling that wrong so keyboard so capital K and then keyboard so we're calling the keyboard class saying hey come here I want to use you what we do to, to tell it what to do we put a full stop and we want it to read so read in from the from the keyboard and the next thing we gotta do is just you see the data type here of the variable whatever data type this variable is we have to put it here so it'd be read int but we need it also to be a capital I so keyboard dot read int okay and then there's just one last thing well actually before I show that I'll just explain here obviously then if this was a double variable so so that was a double which is which is a variable for holding um, decimal numbers, real numbers just this was a double data type variable then in here we just go capital D double keyboard.read double but for this instance we're just going to use the int so because we don't need a double if it's their age no one's, you know it's going to be a whole number you know, 17 or something so int age and then age equals keyboard.read int and then just empty brackets and then we finish it with our semicolon the empty brackets here, it's um, just don't worry about it. It's just gonna be, we're just gonna leave them empty. Don't put anything in there. Um, don't worry about why it's there. Just know that, just learn that it is there. Just like the way this is a capital K. Just learn that it is there. So it's just, just learn this here. It's very simple. As soon as you learn it, you know it's sound enough. Basically, what it's doing is just you're getting the variable age here, and you're assigning it with the value which the value which is entered from the keyboard using the keyboard class and this is how we get this is how we get the you know how we use the keyboard class to get user input from the keyboard so just learn that in you're going to be using this a lot but it's a handy thing once you learn it it's it's handy it's you'll know it like um okay and then so that's that so now we have we we say enter your age and then it says um then we, then we take in the age and then we just want to print the age back out to the screen so system dot out dot print line and so their age has been saved in this variable here age so we just want to print out the variable so system dot out dot print line age that's basically it so we'll compile and run this and see how it goes but that's compiled and it'll run that. 
So enter your age, okay? So 20. Enter that in. And then just prints out. So it takes in the. It says enter your age. Enter your age. And then it says. And it gives you a chance to um, input your age. We input our age as 20. And then it just prints out the value of the variable age, which is 20, because we assign it with that value using the keyboard class. And um, another cool thing is if you want to just say you wanted to print out with that just say you want to print out um your age is and then the age they enter just another print statement system dot out dot print we only say print this time because we want whatever is, comes next to stay on this line we don't want to go, we don't want to go into the next line okay i'll show you what i mean now whenever we run it but it's print you'll understand it now when you see it if you don't understand it now um and then just saying here, um, your age is, then we leave a space, because if there was no space there, say it was like that, then whatever the age is would just come straight after the S with no space. So just put a space in here, so then just to make it look neater and just to make it look proper, really. Um, so I'll compile and run this, and I'll show you now what it, what it does if you don't understand it. So... So enter your age, 20. You can, you can even put in you know 65 if you wanted to. And it says your age is 65. So it enter, prints out enter your age. And then we type in our age. And then whatever we type in gets stored in the variable age. And then we just print out your age is. So your age is. And then we don't put a print line statement because then this 65 will be on the next line. I'm going to stay on, this, on the same line. So just say print. Leave a little space there so there's a space between it. I'll show you what happens if we don't put a space here. So watch this. So we take, say there's no space there, right? Then this is what it looks like whenever we run it. Um, enter your age. So uh, 45. Your age is 45. See the way there's no gap there. So yeah, you gotta always put a space here, space it out. So that's that. That's how you get user input from the keyboard using the keyboard class, um, and it's also how you use that input in your program. So learn this. This is very important. It's very easy as well once it is learned. So just take it in, go over this, and start. You know, do a few of your own programs. You know, taking in the user input and using. You know. I don't use a you know make stuff using a make programs using a double a double data variable data type and a you know a car variable data type. Actually, this is this was reminds me of something I gotta show you. Just say, just say you want to assign. Just say you, you know, come down. I'll, I'll just get rid of all this, right? You see the car variable type variable data. Type. This just means that we can only in, we can only store one character in there okay so let's call this car um car uh, shane my name so car shane right just whatever name you want just say you want to assign this okay say you wanted to say car is equal to p okay what you gotta do with this is you gotta put the p in single quotes like that if you're assigning a car variable with a value, the value must be in single quotes. Okay? Just take that in for a minute. Um you just gotta learn you just gotta know that. Basically it's the same as anything else. It's the same as you know assigning an int variable with the letter with the number two. Just remember that when you're assigning a car variable, the value must be in in single quotes, okay? okay. So that's that for that tutorial. Just take all this in, it's a very good tutorial for you. So just take all that in, learn it, and then you go for the next tutorial. Alright, thanks.